Deku versus Class 1A. Now, at the conclusion of Chapter 319 of My Academia, we saw the clash between Class 1A versus Deku. Now, I've been seeing multiple people take different routes and different sides. They think Deku is going to one-shot and solo Class 1A, and the other hand thinks that Deku stands no chance against Class 1A in his condition. Me, who somebody understands both sides of the spectrum, I will now give my take on who I think will win in Class 1A versus Deku. Now, I want to get to Deku first because I feel like he's the most simplest of Class 1A because I have to go over a whole class that's going to be clashing against Deku. Now, for Deku, he is a competent fighter. He is definitely on the charts with somebody like Best Genius, somebody like Endeavor. He's definitely on the tier. Deku, ever since he left UA, he's been beating people that Class 1A can only dream of beating. He has beaten people like Lady Nagant, a pro assassin, somebody who gave Deku some difficulty and gave Deku some trouble. Somebody like Muscular who beat Deku before when Deku used a quote unquote 1 million percent. Now, if Deku was on his good day and he wasn't so tired, he would probably beat Class 1A mid difficulty. I think he had some trouble with people like Tokoyami, Ida, and Bakugo and Shoto, but I feel like he would pull through. But here's the thing, Deku isn't on his good day. He's probably on his worst day ever. Deku can barely stand, he can barely walk, he can barely jump around and he can barely get up. Deku right now is looking like he needs some rest. He's looking like he needs some savings. This is Class 1A's greatest opportunity. They found Deku, and not only that, he's tired and weakened. They could take this as an opportunity. Having powerhouses like Shoto, Tokoyami, and Bakugo and Ida, they could overpower Deku and bring him back. The problem is Deku has multiple quirks that he can use to his advantage, like Danger Sense, Smoke Screen, Fa Jin, Float, and he can use Black Whip but I'm going to assume that he's just too tired and he just can't do it, but he can still do it. He most likely can, and it most likely will be a brawl and a hard drawn out battle. I don't know if this is a hot take, but I think Deku in his current position or his current state, he could take down some of the fodder in class 1A. People like Invisible Girl, Mineta, you know, Koda, probably somebody like Saro, somebody that he could easily take down and one hit them. Now, being real, I do not think some of the classmates in Class 1A can take a 45% smash. Now, I'm not saying that they're weak. Deku's 45% smashes are no joke. In a perfect world, I see some of them able to get up and just walk it off. But I think one of them, well, most of them, will get hit by it and they mostly get decapitated out of the fight like they're done. This means people like Mina, Momo, Jiro, Mineta, Sero, etc etc i do not think those people i just named can handle a 45 percent smash the only person that you could argue that possibly could is maybe momo because maybe she can make something that can block it but at the same time i do not think that she can handle it to the point where she can get up and continue fighting and knowing ochaka knowing that she loves deku she might just try to have a talk with him but deku isn't really trying to go for a talk he just wants to leave and not trying to put his classmates in danger he wants to continue walking this thorny path. So I don't think talking is going to be the main key frame here. This is all the thing I'm saying for Deku's side and his premise and his win conditions. But what if I told you that Deku has a losing condition? It's because he doesn't want to hurt class 1A. Now you may see this as cliche and a way to nerf Deku, but he does not want to hurt his friends. He may just wants to get away and continue this path to stop all for one so he can go back to them and smile with them together. But Class 1A will not just let Deku escape on his own. They either want to come with him or bring him back. But knowing Deku getting brought back to UA causes multiple can of worms that cannot be closed. Also, ever since Deku left, I don't think he knows if these guys improved their quirks or they had a quirk awakening, which would be completely insane if they did because they would turn the tides on Deku very, very quickly. In my honest opinion, if Deku wins, he may have won the battle but the war will still continue. He loses either way. No matter what side he's on, the winning or the losing, he loses. Now, Class 1A, I already mentioned that they are in a good spot. Deku is injured, Deku can barely even move, and he's barely awake. So this is the chance to bring back Deku once and for all. But Class 1A, in my opinion, is still in the same boat as Deku, is that they don't want to hurt Deku. Well, maybe Bako does, because Bako is the only one in Class 1A that could probably, most likely, go all out against Deku and beat him up to get him back to his senses. I think that is what Bakugo could do in the fight. Now, like I said, again, Deku's in no shape or form to fight even if he wins. I do think that even if he wins, he cannot take on the likes 
or somebody like Shigaraki Alpha One, and hell, some of the villains that Alpha One's gonna send his way. This would end up getting Deku captured. So I think the best shape or form for Hokoshi to go down a route is to get him beaten by Class 1A. Now, I'm a big Tokoyami fan, and I do think he can help in this fight. And I'm gonna say this right now, and I don't know if this is a bad opinion or a hot take, but I'm gonna say it. Tokoyami could be the strongest in Class 1A if he doesn't have the whole light weakness thing. Because Tokoyami, when he goes berserk, he is stronger than Shoto and Bakugo, contrary to everything in the Force training camp arc. Tokoyami should be in the top five people that Deku should be fearful of in this fight. If Tokoyami goes berserk, which I doubt, but if Tokoyami feels some type of way and needs to let Dark Shadow loose, Deku's going to be in for a rude awakening because, again, he can barely move and can barely stand to the point where I think Dark Shadow just overpower this guy and knock him out. Shoto and Bakugo are mainly considered rivals to Deku in most parts of the series, so they're definitely going to be hard to counter. But right now it's raining, which Bakugo's sweat does you know, go away when it's raining, and Shoto can barely use his flames to full capacity when it's raining because, again, Endeavor slow in the rain, and I don't think Shoto could do a flash fire fist in the rain or use his full capacity of fire. Even with the two top tiers in the class being nerfed, Deku still is in a tough situation because of his condition. There are actually two additional characters I want to talk about before I come to my conclusion, which is Shinso and Aizawa. These two are the trump cards to bringing Deku back. These two are the trump cards to beating Deku. In my opinion, I do not think Class 1A would go without Aizawa to go find Deku. I think Aizawa would definitely want to be involved in the search for Deku. I think Shinso would definitely want to be involved ever since the UA Sports Festival. Him and Deku had some sort of relationship of being friends and rivals. So I think he definitely wants to go save Deku and bring him back. And I think his core can easily subdue Deku as long as he gets Deku to talk to him. Which, again, I don't think Deku's going to do since he already knows about Shinso's tricks and quirks. Now, by the end of it, I think it comes down to if Class 1A is willing to hurt Deku to the point of knocking him out. Well, like I said before, Bakko is willing to hurt Deku to the point to smack him back to his senses, but the rest of the characters, I do not think they have the will or have the drive to do that. They might just be trying to evade Deku and try to talk to him while fighting, and Deku would probably do the same. This fight depends on Deku. Is he trying to escape or trying to brawl them and knock him out so he can leave and do his thing? But knowing Deku, he's probably not trying to hurt them because he wants to go back to them and smile. So definitely for Class 1A's side, it depends on the three main big boys, which is Tokoyami, Todoroki, and Bakugo. These three can give Deku a run for his money. Even though I don't think that Shoto and Tokoyami would actually go as far as to hurt Deku, I think Bakugo has to carry the team and try to beat up Deku to his senses, since it seems like he's probably the only one that has the drive and somebody that who would, wouldn't even hesitate to hurt Deku. But I do say that Deku is at a disadvantage, and I think Class 1A will beat him and bring him back. But that is the end of the video. Tell me who you guys think is going to win down in the comment section below. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Hit the bell notification. So we stay notified whenever I upload. And it has been the Red Cloak. I'm going to head up out of here, guys. Peace out. I'm out, guys. Peace. Have a great rest of the day. And enjoy yourself.